I moved to the Philippines. Uh, somebody was asking me this uh, a couple of weeks back, but it's the first time I've had a chance to actually answer the question. The majority of expats um, really haven't ventured very far. Um, if you go through, you'll find a lot of people have never been outside the US, for example, before they said possibly on service. Um, so there's a lot of people that simply have never been anywhere before. And one of the big pluses with the Philippines is nearly everybody speaks at some level of English, um, which means for somebody going abroad for the first time, um, there is that little bit of safety net knowing that people actually understand you or you can find people that understand you. Um, I would also say it's relatively safe for the average person. Um, the problems over the years are, you know, relating to death or whatever normally come from relationship issues. Um, well, what else you got? Relationship issues, being involved in the wrong businesses, being involved with the wrong types of business in the sense of like mining or whatever, which can often be very dangerous even if you're Filipino. Um, so a lot of the a lot of the industries aren't as safe as they're made out to be but more importantly a lot of the things that happen to people aren't just random acts there's always something in the background um, there is some corruption issues there but at the same time if you're just there minding your own business on holiday or moving to the Philippines long term for the average person these things ain't going to happen to them because they don't have enough money for a start. Um, it's it's normally focused on people with larger cash flows than the average expats bringing with them. I mean, the average person's probably on a budget of probably a maximum of about fifteen hundred euros, uh, fifteen hundred dollars a month. And I say that because I know there's a lot of people above it, a lot of people below it. But at the same time, it's somewhere in the middle, that's going to be about the right sort of figure. Um, so from that point of view, it ain't exactly a big amount of money, but also it's relying on people's pensions and stuff. And if somebody does something bad to them, they're a lot of money left. Because they're going to carry on once they uh, are in the soil. So <laughs> that's, that's why it's not as high risk as a lot of people may assume. It's simply not. Um, but moving on from the fact that it's not as risky as it's made out to be sometimes moving on from the fact that the language barrier isn't really a big issue compared to somewhere like Thailand although Thailand is cheaper to live um, the next thing is the relative cost of living is, isn't too bad I wouldn't say it, it's as cheap as it used to be but I would say that it's at a minimum on par with your normal uh, standard of living wherever you are currently. You will have to make some adaptions, of course, because obviously dietary is completely different. Although there's more and more uh, fast food type places open, the access to things like good bread can be a bit of a pain. Uh, but junk food certainly not a problem. Um, so from that side, you can, you can adapt. It's not it doesn't really. It's not that painful. Um, but I also think, from a cultural point of view, it's somewhere different. It's somewhere completely different to where most expats have come from. Um, so it's a bit of a unique experience. It's all new. It's all fresh. It's although sometimes it's a bit grubby due to the burning of rubbish and open sewers and things like that most expats don't really grumble about it too much because it's a different environment um, and then you've got the the obvious one which is a lot of expats go there to meet a partner um, a guy in the 50s 60s looking for a partner find it a bit more difficult in the West but I'll, I'll often you're going to meet people around your own age group which often have excess baggage stuff you're not really interested in doing at that age in the Philippines there's a ridiculous amount of women that are available even some that shouldn't be but they are 
Um, but ultimately, those are the main reasons. Um, Business-wise, it's it's a bit hit and miss um, because I think you've got to understand the culture for the business, and sometimes it's just not worth the headache. Other times, if you do understand the culture, um, you can make it work. But I, I find myself it does take time to get everything up and running the way you want and without any problems. Um, so for for the average expat, it's got to be about somewhere new, somewhere different, and ultimately finding someone they want to spend the rest of their life with. Hope that answers that question. <laughs>